What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today we got a very fun customization video for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to get over 200 fonts for free for your Galaxy devices to kind of make your device look and feel brand new, freshen things up a little bit. Now, you probably know that if you go into the settings, you can actually install some fonts from the Galaxy Store by going to display, going down to font size and style, font style, and then there's some default fonts and then you can go to download fonts and that'll take you to the Galaxy Store where you can download some other fonts. Now there are some made by Samsung like Cool Jazz, Rosemary that are free, but if you want some of the fancier fonts, they're usually paid. You see they're $1.79 for some of these customized fonts. And so if you want those, you're gonna to have to pay some money. But there is a great app that's on the Play Store that allows you to get hundreds of fonts in these customized styles for absolutely free. There is a little bit of work to do it once you install the app, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. So the app itself is called Zfont3, and I'll drop the link below. Uh, I'm gonna host the link to this on my website and have a little short blurb about the video on my website. I'm gonna try to start using my website a little more, so I'll link it below for you guys. You can find it very easily. Zfont3 is the app itself. This is the one we're gonna use. It is an ad supported app, so it's free. There are quite a lot of ads. If you don't wanna have the ads in there, there is an ads remover, which is $5. I paid for it, as you can see, because I use the app. I like to customize my phone a lot, but you don't have to. Um, you can use the ad supported version. So once you download the app, you're gonna go in there to Zfont3, go to the home page and find a font that you like. There's labels over here in the middle, so you can find one that you like by the style. I think the nicest style for me personally is the stylish category. I like a lot of the fonts that are in the stylish category. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys kind of how to use one of these particular fonts. So I already have a couple that are installed by default on my device, but I'm gonna show you guys how to install some more here. And uh, let's just pick one like this one. Let's try the singing font. I'm gonna go ahead and hit download on there. It's gonna download it, and then it's gonna give me the option to apply it. Now you will see up here in your drop down. it says download complete. Once it's done that, go ahead and hit apply. Since we have a Samsung device, we're gonna choose One UI from the bottom. This is all versions of One UI. You can see obviously, if you have other phones up here, you can choose one of these. You can also choose auto and it'll select correctly for you. But we're using One UI, we know that. So I've already went through the prerequisites process, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this fully so you guys can see for yourselves the first time you do a new font. You're gonna tap on this where it says Install Samsung Sans. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over to the settings page I just showed you guys earlier. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on font style. You're gonna to go to download fonts from the Galaxy Store and you're gonna find Samsung Sans. I already have it installed so I don't need to but if you search for it, you'll find it's right there. You can see I installed it if you don't have that installed already. You're just gonna tap install, and then that's the first step to the process. So we have that done, we finished that. We're gonna go back to the Z Font 3 app. The next step is to change your font to Samsung Sans. You can see that basically the way Z Font 3 works is it overrides the Samsung Sans font. You can see I have it selected inside my font style in the display settings. So that's the second step. Next, make sure your Samsung account sign in because this does use the backup and restore feature from your Samsung account. You're then gonna go back to the settings and we're gonna back up our data. To do that, you can go right in here at the very top where you see your name, go down to Samsung Cloud. And when you get to the Samsung Cloud, scroll down to the very bottom where it says backup data. We only need to back up the settings so you can unselect all those others. See how I only have the settings selected and then you're going to hit back up now. And that's gonna back up all of your data. Once you've done that, you're gonna go back to the Z Font 3 app, and now you're gonna uninstall Samsung Sans. So you're going to uninstall it. You can see it tells me that I don't need to uninstall it because it's already done the prerequisite process, but you'll just uninstall the font by tapping here. It'll give you a little pop-up at the bottom. Just click OK. It's gonna uninstall Samsung Sans. Now, once you've done these five prerequisite steps that I've just showed you, now you're gonna install your custom font. So down here, the first thing to do is tap install, whatever the name of the font is, and you're gonna hit update. That's gonna install the font that you've chosen. Next, we're gonna change the font to default back here 
inside of our font style. So I'm gonna change this to default in the font style. It's gonna change it back to the default fault. Then we're going to restore the data from our settings menu. So go back into settings, go back to tapping your name, scroll down to the Samsung Cloud, go to the bottom where it says restore data, and then we're gonna tap our most recent backup of my S22 Ultra. I'm gonna unselect everything, and then I'm just gonna reselect the settings only. I don't need to restore anything else. Go ahead and hit restore, and that's gonna change our font. You guys can see it change here in real time. It changed it to my custom font. So now I'm done, and if we go back here, you can either delete space if you want, you don't have to. You're gonna see that now my font is completely changed to that custom font that I selected. And you see the custom font is also themed throughout my app drawer and everywhere else in the UI. So that completes the process. The nice thing about this is, once you download more fonts from ZFont 3, you don't need to do these top five steps. You just do these three steps at the bottom. You install your chosen font, change the default and restore the data, and you're gonna be good to go. Now, one thing that I will mention about this is that if you have widgets like I do, you may wanna choose fonts that you can also use in your widget. And uh, if you go into a KWGT widget like this, I'll talk about this later, down here, you can actually find a bunch of these custom fonts also in this top corner, and you can download those to use with your widgets. So I was using the short stack font before, and uh, that's one I can use with my widgets. Anyway, that's how you can get over 200 fonts for free and install them with ZFont3. I'll drop the link below. Also, if you guys wanna join my newsletter for monthly, or sorry, weekly customization updates for your Samsung device, I'll drop that below. We also have our giveaway going on for the month of May. If you guys wanna check that out, we're giving away a flagship device. All that information will be in the description. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.